Hey, it's Walter V. News in Lexington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to just do a short video about quick releases that I have in this bag right here to mount, for example, a Shogun or Atomos Ultra. Like always, I do a great card balance and using the Atomos Ninja Ultra on the FX30. With the EL zone, we have the green, yellow, and gray, which is spot on, plus and minus 0.5. Also going to color checker. We have the iPhone 15 Pro Max using the Black Magic camera app on Apple Log. Great card balanced too. And you're supposed to rotate this a little bit so you don't get glare. Every video I'm working on audio and matching cameras. So this is just a warm up bonus about what I do before each video. Customer service at Sound Devices is excellent, and I was having an issue with my female battery MX Hiroshi plate, and they, uh, it ended up being the plate that was bad, so they replaced it for me, which is very nice. It was under warranty. And like always, we are using Tentacle Sync E. We have Tentacle Sync E on the FX30, which is putting out time code to the Ninja Ultra time code. We also have time code on the Mix Pre 3, also time code on the Rode Wireless Pro, which the Rode Wireless Pro is generating the time code. I have the Mix Pre 3 on solo so I can hear myself on my headset using the share mic. We also have, I know it sounds, looks a little chaotic, but I'm just working on audio. So we have this audio going from the Shure to the Mix Pre 3 channel one with noise assist. We also have a Sony mic going wireless to the FX30 with a Sankin Cos 11D, which is right here. And we also have the Rode Wireless Pro right here. So it's right near my mouth using a Rode pod mic, which I believe is the first time I ever used it because I had to look at the tabletop mount. And we have a technical track E. So we have one, two, three, four audios along with the scratch disc audio from the iPhone. And today I just want to do a version two of quick releases. So let's go with the collection of quick releases that I use for attaching things to my cages. Let's see if I can get this podcast that make to come over here. Look at that. My first time using this road arm, which is sort of cool. Hopefully it's not uh, blocking too much, but just want to work on my audio. Walter Venus and working on his audio. So we're recording off the Black Magic in Adobe. So we have that in the photo. There we go. We have the Black Magic camera recording in Sony Log. I have just, we're going to talk about the Condo Blue first, and then we're going to talk about. One of my favorites is the LNK quick release from Vancouver, Canada. He's a focus puller that came up with this really ingenious new design quick release, which I love. So you would mount this to your device that you want to have on your camera rig, your cage on whatever camera you're using. And with the Condo Blue, you can lock it open and then you close it secure. And if you want to take it off, you 
it locks down and you take it off. Easy peasy. So that was the <laughs> Hondo Blue. We're gonna take that one off. We have to put this back together. Now, another cool thing about the Condo Blue, if you have this mounted to your camera and you want to attach, for an example, a Animal Shogun Ultra or a Ninja to the cage, you would have this part that can screw right into the bottom of the monitor and also be able to rotate it around up and down so that's really cool and it does come with locking pins if you if it has like re locking pins so this is the condo blue and then i'm going to show over here on my little side camera which i'm trying out the iPhone 15 Pro Max in Apple Log as my top-down camera. Now, what's nice about the LNK Quick Release Kit is it uses a, here we go, move this, follow me. Head and shot, there we go. It uses a different system that clearly locks in. Hopefully you heard the clicky noise. Now with this one, you have to, if you only push one, it can't come off. So that's a safety feature. But if it has two sides, you push in and then it comes off. Let's rotate this a little bit so you can see, hopefully that. So you can, what's nice about the LNK, which I can't remember, but LNK is both of these are the same. So it doesn't matter which one you use to attach it to whatever you want to use to. But it does look very severely lock in very safely. And for safety, you have to push both of these and then it comes off. Which I think is very cool. So that is one of my favorite new ones. Okay, I'm gonna move this way a little bit. I'm just uh, working, whenever I do these videos, I want to also practice and get better at audio. So I know this is over the top, but I do trade show interviews where time is the essence. And this past year I've been on my audio learning journey. So I have wireless audio also have Mix Pre 3, we have the Rode Wireless Pro, which has timecode and 32-bit float. And we have the technical track, which is not wireless, it's hard. And we have the Sony. So this past year, I've been really focusing on my audio. So the LNK is from a gentleman from Vancouver that is a focus polo that came up with this ingenious design, which is unique, highly recommend. So that's one of my favorites. And then when I was at the b &H Build Expo, I got to meet people at the 16 by 9 booth who noticed I was using a quick release on my camera system and pointed it out that they have the original quick release that's made in California. 16 by 9 Senlock, they call it. So the difference between this one and the Condo Blue is it does not lock. It automatically pops So Well, technically it automatically locks. It automatically locks, but it does not stay unlocked. The Condo Blue one locks and then you have to lock it. So the Condo Blue, when you rotate it to the left, 
In this case, it stays locked. And then when you put it on, you have to lock it. it stays locked. And then when you do this, it goes open. With the 16 by 9 sin lock, you bring it over and you have to hold it. So it, it makes a clicking noise, but does not lock. And then you place it in and then it locks. I asked him about that. He goes, for the, uh, when you put it on, you just want to, you know, you don't want to forget to lock it. So he says uh, it's built in feature. The one thing I did notice the, seems to be very inspiring to another company, which he gently did not overly say, but he did sort of mention that. So they must have ran, the, the patent must have ran out. So the condo blue on the right and the 16 by nine Senlock on the left what I did notice when I was trying this out in the booth is the fit and finish of the 16 by nine is very nice. It, it goes right into the, into the device smoothly. Feels like it's very well made. The Conda blue one is also nice, but it, I can just feels different. If you have them directly comparison to each other, I can see, the quality difference. This is made in California, USA. I believe this one is not made in USA, but both are really nice. I'm assuming the, from what I remember, the Condo Blue one is less expensive and the 16 by nine Sinlock is more expensive. But it does, uh, if you like things smooth and made in USA, this is a uh, really, really nice. So let's uh, see if I can mount this one. They do have different ways of mounting. It uses a flat tip. I do like the Allen ridges better. So my wife and I was out at a hardware store and, and one of the things I didn't have in my tool chest, which I have a lot of stuff in my tool chest, is a thick flat tip screwdriver. So this is a Craftsman screwdriver. There's, just so you guys know, there's a whole channel, a whole niche of people that do tool videos and I watch a few of those and I actually learn a lot of stuff. So we're going to mount, we're going to mount the 60 by nine in this open spot up here. Using my new Craftsman flat tip screwdriver. So this has the thicker threads so you can screw it right into the top here. And it recesses in. And then if you mount this to anything else, so for safety reasons, it's really cool that it automatically locks in. Let me see if I can rotate this. There we go. Little iPhone black little iPhone 15 Pro with this. So not, I'm hoping that this uh, Apple log footage is, I can get it to match up sort of with the FX30 Sony. But I, I guess I, I do understand that you want, the only time you would touch this is if you're taking it on and off. So if you, you do this and it locks in, and it, what's nice about this one, I can tell now, is 
you push a little bit farther and then it really locks in. But I did notice that it's very well made, buttery. It's it's very made in California, USA. It's very nice. There is a price difference, but I'll have the QR codes pop up. But the 16 by nine does seem very well made. Made in California, very nice. So it's cool to do, have the ability to see both of these. I do prefer the L and K made in by a gentleman, like I mentioned, in Vancouver. Even the 16 by nine people in the booth were happy to see a new design, not a copy. So this is a unique design, like I mentioned. I do feel like this is very secure, very well made, definitely locks in when it locks in. And the gentleman that I met on the Instagram seems very nice. He does appreciate all my shout outs and et cetera. So I, I do like pointing out to people that when something's well made and I use it, that's why I have QR codes pop up. So these QR codes are only for you to be able to quickly if you're watching this on your computer and or TV set to be able to quickly look at the items that I'm talking about. They are not, for the most part, 90 something percent, not affiliate links. I don't have a big enough channel for affiliate links. So I do this as a way to show how I'm trying to be more efficient. So this is the LNK, very well made. Nice safety feature, you have to push both of these in and uses a flat tip screwdriver, which I think I got this screw uh, from something else because their screws are only flat tip. So I have a bunch of screws laying around so I sort of forget which ones are what, but I do have the packaging. Just so you can hear it, how it sounds. Very solid. And we can hear how the 16 by 9 Synlock sounds. There's a YouTube channel from a gentleman from Germany that likes doing car reviews and he does his shutting the door sound. Let's listen to the door. Thomas, Thomas Driving Lounge. He's a based German uh, gentleman that does really nice YouTube videos about cars. So we just have this. So we can see how it locks. And then also I can show you how it goes together, which sounds very, doesn't sound, no catching, sounds solid as a rock. And then we can do the same one with Condo Blue, which does lock. So there might not be any sound distance, but Oh, that's one thing I'm gonna show. So once you put it together, no slop, and then locks. Let me see the 16 by nine one. No slop when you go side to side. And it locks very securely. And the L and K, like I mentioned, you have to push both of these in, which allows you to dismount them from each other. And we'll see how this sounds when it locks in. This is our ASMR, I believe. So we'll just do slowly. There we go. So that was just a short video. Here's the packaging that I got from LNK. Comes in this nice little package 
and it has a variety of screws in the bottom. And these are the ones that came with it, flat tip only. So this is a flat tip only. Very well made, 